Hey, what about Garcia, Gary Russell Jr.? Damn, see, there you go. I and I is that dangerous? No, uh, is that too dangerous. No, it's actually a really good fight, I think. It's both guys that have fast ass hands, I know that for sure. Yeah, I think, I think that fight, I think Gary starts to control him and control the fight. That's a good fight. That's a good fight. Yeah, I can't see that fight just right off the I top. Mean, Based think, on Gary Russell, it could happen in like 2023 or 2024. Based just on what I was just about to say, it's like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a damn shame that within these six names, I don't have Gary Russell's name on That there. kid should not, should, yeah, he should be in there. Yeah, I love What the I hell is Gary he Russell. doing? And I, and I make that joke out of frustration of not getting to see Gary Russell Jr. more often. It's kind of like the Keith Thurman deal. It's like, yeah, come on, man, y'all need to be in the ring. Big fans yeah. of you, but when yeah. you're not in the ring, we forget about you. Very yeah. true. Gary Russell Jr. Hey, did I am I tripping or did Gary Russell do a backflip in a fight? Did somebody hit him and he flipped? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no about that. That would be intense though. Yeah, right. Are you and, sure? and, and and that would be a very bold decision to make. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about somebody hit him and he like flipped. Nah. He fought Lomachenko, right? Yeah, he did. And I thought, oh, okay, I thought it was maybe he was just yeah. getting wobbled. You, Gary Russell was calling that, out. Was he calling out Bud for a while? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, what a they, guy. They, they was trying to handle some 2000 and... <laughs> in 2020, like, let it go. Yeah. Hey, man. Ain't nothing wrong with holding on grudges. That's yeah. my guy. I just... I'm I, I I'm like, I'm mad. Which mad, one? Gary uh, Russell? Gary Russell. That's my dude. This dude called me one morning. He's not in that conversation. That's like, yeah, he's missing his window. Yeah, he he missing his window. He called me one morning, like two o'clock. It wasn't two o'clock in the morning. He called me uh, like two years ago in the morning. It was early, like eight o'clock in the morning. And I it woke me up out of my sleep. And I'm like, I'm like, who is this? Man, it's Gary. I was like, who? Like, we go back and forth. I'm like, I don't, I don't know this. I'm like, I don't know this dude. All right. <laughs> I'm like. Russell, he said, Sean, man, don't be stupid. I'm like, I'm like, man, I didn't know it was you. I just woke up, yada, yada, yada. We talked, we on the phone for 30 minutes. I don't, I don't, don't call me, aunt. you know better. <laughs> Carson, we never talk yeah. on the phone, you know what I mean? Very true. So for this, for this dude to call me this early and, and really just wanted to just, just flat out talk. We talked and we talked about boxing and everything else. And what I took from the conversation is, was this conversation was two, if not three years ago, is the same now as it was two or three years ago where I am in control of my career. Yes, I have people on my on paper as my manager, but I am my manager. I'm like, all right, Gary, more power to you. He said, what you don't understand is I'm going to make more, more money than anybody in this sport. I'm like, all right, Gary, all the power to you. He said, ain't nobody going to tell me what I want to do. Ain't nobody going to tell me who to fight, when to fight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make all that happen myself. But that mindset has got him off of my paper. Yeah. Yeah. Like, damn. Like, how, how do I have six names, six guys, and you're, you are you could virtually be better than everybody on this list, with the exception of Lomachenko, because well, he's he supposed to fight Gary Russell. Who? February. He's supposed to oh, fight. Oh, Gary's supposed to fight in February. Yeah, uh, Kame- Kameda. Oh, yes. Okay. So... It's a decent. Okay. That's a decent fight. It's a, it's a good fight, but it's not the fight we expect. Yeah, it's and not it's, the fight we want. And it's coming up on you know another. He fought the year before that in February, and then the year before that it was May, and then it was May 2018. Yeah. So it's just yeah, it's just and not you're fighting active. once a year. And yeah. when you're 32, 33 years old, you, you got roll. Your longevity yeah. in this sport is it is it built around you not fighting and staying healthy or? Or, be, or or should it be built around you fighting the best, making the, the amount of money, the best amount of money that you can make and having the type of, of career that everybody expects you to have, you know? Is he, is he number one fastest hands in boxing still? You know what? He's He's been number one. I, it, you know, for a long time, it was either him or Rush, Rashi Warren. Yeah, shout out to Newt. You know? So, yeah, shout out to Newt. It was always either him or Rashi, you know? So yeah, I would say he's got the fastest hands in professional boxing. Yeah. We yeah. like Gary after that fight, fight again the next month or a month after that. <laughs> yeah. Just fight as many times as possible. Yeah, get in the mix, bro. Like 2021, yeah. make it your year. 
You yeah. got to get in the mix. You Man, can't get in the mix. It can't be just phone conversations. I, I've seen on the internet. He's had phone conversations with Devin Haney's dad. He's yeah. had. He's been back and forth with Terrence Crawford. We don't really want to see that fight, but you've also been back and forth with Tank Davis, who's right there in your backyard. Like that's that's a fight for the city. That's a yeah. fight for for Maryland. You know what I mean? Like make something happen and and be as notable as you should be. Like this, you should be talking about. Uh, Gary Russell the same way people talk about Sean Porter. It's no, he's yeah. really is no difference yeah. in, in, in the two of us in terms of who we have the opportunity to fight and who, and who we could fight. You know, I think Ant, I think Ant's comparison might even be better than than you and Gary. I think Keith and Gary is a really good comparison that there you go. that you should be Keith Thurman should be anytime you mention top welterweight A, it should be matched up with Keith Thurman. Yeah. Anytime you mention anyone around Gary Russell's weight class, he should be somebody that you're like, what about him and Gary Russell? It should just be something that just goes together. But here's the thing. And I think a lot of people misunderstood what I was saying last week and thought that I might have been taking shots at Keith Thurman. I wasn't taking any shots at Keith. But if you're secure, if you're Stevenson, Lomachenko, Lopez, Davis, Haney, Garcia, why would you say Gary Russell's name? He hasn't fought yeah. in a year. And then he only fought a year before that. And he only fought once the year before that. All those guys, all those names have been busy. They've been getting better. They've been having great experiences. They've been wowing crowds. They've been putting fans in seats, uh, pay-per-views, and the, and the list goes on from there. Gary hasn't done any of that. Keith hasn't done any, any of that. So why should they, why should I slow up my role for someone who I feel should be there but isn't yeah. there? You know what I mean? So those weren't shots taken that day at, at, at he, Keith last unless, week. Unless he thought they were. Unless you thought then they, they were. <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't enjoy what you saw because I know you did. What you need to do now, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, hit that notification button. Check us out every week, every Tuesday, something new for you right here on the Port Away Podcast.